now give it give it a little goose. See what you got. Okay, there we go. Woohoo! Yeah. All right, what do you think? Now don't run into the tractor and kill me. Stony Bridge. Farm Stony Bridge. Stony Bridge Farm. All right, guys, this video is brought to you in part by our friends at Chore Warrior. There'll be a link down in the video description. If I can get these guys to give us a coupon code, I will. Let me show you what it is, and Miss Stony Ridge is going to help out too. So this is the Chore Warrior. Uh, it's a wheelbarrow. It's a polymer wheelbarrow. This is the solid tire. You can get it with a pneumatic tire. This is the solid tire, and this is kind of the off-road tire version of it. Chore Warrior makes three or more different, probably by the time I make this video, they make more uh, different options. So this is a battery powered wheelbarrow. We're gonna demonstrate that here in a second. I'm gonna hop in it and Miss Tony Ridge is gonna push me a little bit and try to push me up the hill without assistance and with assistance. So if you got somebody that's not quite as strong as a big old burly Macho Man Randy Savage, then you can do it. You can push anything so we can fill these full of dirt and miss Stony ridge can push them also the chore warrior makes this basket so they have this little unique basket i got two baskets and two of these one for my dad so dad's in his 70s i want to make sure he had a good wheelbarrow so we've got good wheelbarrows and good carts for carrying plants and stuff like that in and out of the house chore warrior offers wheelbarrows that motorized cart that I just showed you and a power assist. The power assist is for moving stuff around. So let's say you've got a sawmill you need to get into your shop building or you need to move some equipment or a trailer around in your equipment yard or out in your yard. You need to move your boat. You need to pull your airplane out of the hangar. Chore Warrior makes something for that too. So show them how it works, Miss Stony Ridge. On and off button. So it's on right now. Yep. Okay, now this is, there's a push button on the side, right? Push yep. the button. So you got forward and reverse. This tells how much battery life you have. Now put it in forward and just push, not, not the button yet. Just give it a push. Okay. Now hit the button. Woo. Yeah. And then hit reverse. That's forward got and it. reverse. There you go. So you don't need to hit it all the way to the max speed. Yeah. It's a variable speed motor. So you can barely push it if you just want a little assistance or you can really hammer down. So that's it. Here's how much I trust the chore warrior and the chore warrior operator. I'm 220 something pounds. I'm going to get in this thing and Miss Stony Ridge is going to uh, hopefully not kill me. <laughs> all right. Uh, let go. Let me get in. Okay. Hang on here. Now lean her back. See what you got. Oh, uh, yeah. Yep, that's pretty fun. Keep going. Need an off road experience. Chore Warrior. True testament. Much, much push better. Push me up the hill. Turn and push me up the hill without power. Oh, well, we're not going anywhere without power. I know. Try it. <laughs> okay, now give it, give it a little goose. See what you got. Okay, there we go. Woohoo. Yeah. All right, what do you think? Now, don't run into the tractor and kill me. <laughs> Chore <Whoa>. Warrior. <laughs> Woo. This thing's wonderful. Well, you better trust your wife. You can jump in a wheelbarrow <laughs> for her. Hold <laughs> on tight. Okay, park. <laughs> Thank you. And dump me. Okay. <laughs> see how well balanced that thing is. Man, that's going to make gardening a breeze. Are you excited about a winter garden? I am very excited. We have not grown a winter garden since we've been here on the farm. No, we haven't. It's going to be interesting. I can't wait to make sauerkraut. I make some good sauerkraut. You do make some good sauerkraut. You like sauerkraut? Yeah, it, with the right stuff. Okay. With you the right eat stuff. it by itself. Yeah, yeah it. it's probiotic. Go for the <laughs> belly belly. I some brats and crap. Brats. Okay, <laughs> cool. So let's show you guys what we got going on here in the garden. The, the garden is an absolute disaster. I did not weed whack like I should have. So you look down through here you'll see i've got to get in here with the string trimmer trim all this stuff up i really if it wasn't so dry i would just burn this this stuff needs to go these are pepper plants and tomato plants and this is morning glory so we're going to take this and make it look awesome now earlier in the year we did a video about weed control controlling weeds with mulch so this mulch is actually really built some rich, dark, and beautiful soil. 
Very awesome, guys. Can't wait. So we've got one bed here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine beds to get done here. And some of this is like old peppers. It's kind of gross. We're gonna be using some pretty cool wheelbarrows. Then we're gonna be planting in this beautiful rich soil that I created on my own and it only took a couple years to make. So without further ado, we'll throw some time lapse on here. We're gonna transform this garden into something really nice. But first, we've got to move the cow. You guys ready to move? Oh, daddy. All right. Now guys, if this is your first time to the farm, we are a regenerative farm here in the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains in North Carolina. And we move the cows virtually every 24 to 48 hours in the wintertime and every 12 hours in the summertime. These girls know it's time to move. So all we're gonna do is open a gate and they'll come right through. Okay, girls, let's go. Woo! All right, guys, it's just that easy to move the cows. All we do is open the gate, cows run through, and now they're headed down to the hay that I put out yesterday. Now, I just remembered I didn't put the electric fence charger on the uh, hay storage, and they might get into that. So I got to go and get another electric fence charger. We're never going to get the garden done. <laughs> Guys, this thing reverses. Check it out. So that's one direction. And we hit reverse, and it'll go the opposite direction. Here, I've never seen a weed eater that will go backwards. Super cool. Husqvarna weed eater, battery powered, 36 volt. That's what it is. This is a 7.5 amp hour. Monster, good battery. I'm not a huge fan of all battery equipment, but this critter, kicks butt. Let's look at what Miss Stony Ridge did. Bam! That looks great. Bam! Punch it. <laughs> Good job. That one even looks better. This one, eh, need a little rakage, doesn't it? Yeah, we're not it's done kinda, with it yet. Yeah, it's more dry it right quick, there. Quick so, run. guys, this is the Husqvarna Weed Eater. It's a battery-powered weed eater. Did you see the disaster that I just weed whacked. Can you believe that that was only two batteries? And what do we have left on this battery? How many bars? Still got one bar left on that. It's probably about to die. Uh, the other battery burned through three quarters of this. So great job. Good job on the Husqvarna. Yeah. Don't need a gas powered weed whacker. That's awesome. So we will see you guys because Miss Stony Ridge has to work tomorrow. That's right. So we'll see you in the morning with me finishing the rest of this up and then she gets to come home to something pretty. And the deer, hopefully, don't eat it all. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> yeah, we're overran with deer. See you guys in the morning. Woo!
So I'm planting these into plant beds right here, and this is cabbage. So there's cabbage, broccoli, kale, more cabbage, more cabbage, Brussels sprouts, all kinds of good stuff here. I'm spacing them about 12 inches apart, and I'm putting two rows in each one of these uh, raised beds. The reason I'm only doing two rows is because you gotta think about cabbage and how big these cabbages are gonna get. They'll probably get about that big, so they'll be pushing each other out. So we wanna space them out appropriately so that they don't push each other out. This is the smallest they'll ever be. As Soon as I get done here, I have to go in and water, and if I've got something that's questionable like this, I just break it down and put it in here as compost. You'll notice the plant beds all have mulch in them. This is mulch that helps retain moisture. Moisture retention and soil building. So this garden has had no fertilizer other than chicken manure and wood chips and other types of manure. So that's all we've ever put in this soil in this garden. So it's 100% organic, which is awesome. So here's a fencing system. Two laps around with poly braid. There's two right there. They are about 36 inches apart. Here's how our corner works. This is called a strain right step in post. I'll post a link. You can get all this stuff at Farm Fence Solutions and I'll post a link from my Amazon page also in case you guys want to just order it off of Amazon. So it doesn't matter so much if it looks perfect. It doesn't have to look perfect. In fact, this is perfect right here. It's a little bit oblong, it's a little bit off, and it confuses a snot out of the deer. So we'll keep the deer out of the garden. Now we've got to electrify this, and I'll show you we use a solar-powered electric fence controller. And this is a Zariba brand, but you can get any brand, it doesn't matter. This is the one. This is the Zariba 30 miler. So this thing will knock the snot out of any deer. So we'll attach this right here by a clip. We'll turn it on. We have winter and summer. We'll turn it on to the winter setting because it doesn't get as much sun, so it doesn't bloop, bloop, send out a pulse quite as fast. That's it. Deer fence. Carrots and beets. So this is the one bed that I did not put mulch on. You can see it's kind of a sandy, loamy type soil. And all we're going to do is take our carrot seeds and we're just going to sprinkle them throughout this bed very sparsely so let's go ahead and do that there's a lot of seeds as you can see so we'll just sprinkle them and the rain will work these into the soil now you could get a lot more scientific with it if you wanted to but it's just carrots guys you don't have to overthink this so much i'm just going to pat this down a little bit and the rule of thumb is when you're planting seed to plant to the depth 
of the seed. In other words, those tiny little seeds don't need to be very deep. Ouch, <laughs> cockaburr. So guys, that's the winter garden. We'll keep you updated on the channel as the winter garden begins to flourish. It's gonna be pretty awesome. The beet seeds we'll also put in the ground right over here in that bed that's left over and I'll just cut a little trough and sprinkle those guys on there and we'll have some beets. Beets are really good, they're good for you. All this stuff's good for you. Getting out in the sunshine is good for you. So guys, I encourage you to get out and plant yourself a winter garden. Hopefully this is good motivation for you to get outside and have some fun and plant some food with your kids, with your wife, or just by yourself. Take care guys, have a great day. I hope you enjoyed the Stony Ridge Farm today. Woo! Well, come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life here and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge. Get me. All right, let's put them nose to nose, see what they do. Oh, yours has got more pushing power. Them tires right there do a little better than them tires, guys.